Okay. So, so, so I, I don't know whether you said, I mean, I thought I heard that you say you would advise a brother to run for the hills if the woman was divorced or, and, or had children. And I, I just thought that was a really damaging and problematic statement to make because you don't know how it's going to land on the people. I mean, for an example, if there is a divorced woman, let's say the woman has had three divorces, okay? Let's just use that as a, let's say three or four divorces, okay? It's a possibility, brother, that she could have had three or four very bad husbands. I don't know whether there's any proof. It could be her as well. I mean, you know, the every word that you use, there is a, there is a what that she, she could have had three or four bad husbands. What was the word that you used? There is a possibility. A possibility. And you're going to go, but there's, yeah, you're going to talk about possibility and probability, but there's an absolute fact of the matter, bro. A factability, if you like, is that there's always going to be exceptions. There's always going to be circumstances and reasons. I'll give you an, I'll, I'll give you one that, you know, that maybe you can relate to in it. Okay. You're into fitness, you know, you're into fitness like myself and, and training and everything. If I was to make a generic statement such as fat people are fat because they eat too much and they're lazy, mm -hmm. okay, then that's to, to a point has a lot of truth to it. it to a point the that part is true. Yeah. For, to, but there's always going to be other people in there, bruv, that have uh, thyroid problems, that they, 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 they have health, other health problems, injuries, food addiction, uh, et cetera, et cetera. It's not necessarily the complete story so once we know that there's there's going for sure to be other people that don't fit that category now we have to break each one down into an individual um individual case and we have to look at each woman whether she had three divorces four divorces five kids six kids ten kids it doesn't matter if we have to break it down into an individual case and look at this woman and this man individually and and and, and deal with them on merit that's only fair if i had a company and I had a job for vacancy, and you come to me for that job. And, yeah. and you said to me, Issa, I like the job. I'm perfect for this job. Give me the job. And I said, hold on, bruv. You've been sacked four times from your other jobs. I'm not even going to consider you, bruv. The probability is that I'm going to have to sack you as well because mm. someone else has sacked you. If, and, uh, yeah. Okay. And then you turn around and give me four very good reasons why them jobs didn't work out mm -hmm. and they weren't your fault. I've listened to your case and I said, right, bruv, you're the perfect guy, jump on board. What about another one? Let's say, I don't know, you went to court and the judge says, oh, you're in front, oh, well, you've been arrested three times before, so I'm not even going to listen to you, bruv, you can go straight to jail. You right. have to look at each case from an individual merit. You can't look at each case and just say the probability, and pr it, it just doesn't work like that, bruv. You have to be, you know, you have the, you have the certainty of youth in, in, in the sense that everything is either this or it's this. It's, there's, there has to be nuance. There has to be things in the middle, bro. You know, uh, you know Isa, I agree with you, Akhi. I don't even disagree. We are saying the same thing. I agree with you. There will always be exceptions to every single rule. But right. one, of the, one of the peculiarities of human nature is that the less likely something is to happen, the more we bank on it happening. Let me give you an example. Everybody knows that the likelihood of them winning the super lottery, I don't even know what they call it anymore, the super lottery thing, the, the 50 million pound thingy majig, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know what they call it, is next to none. And yet, millions of people in the UK play the lottery. And it's, right. there's this strange paradoxical relationship between the less likely something is to happen, the more we bank on it happening. Now, I say this, if you as a brother have the energy to, you know, play this what this this process of okay you use the example of someone who lost their job four times if someone comes to me as an employer and and has been fired four times from their job i'm not even going to consider him i don't care what the reasons are i'll tell you why because i'm a businessman operating a business and i don't have time to hear sob stories and excuses the market is brutal you either perform or you die it's perform or die. The market doesn't care about excuses. That's how I would treat it from a business point of view. Okay. Now, if I'm dealing with a sister, I see it exactly the same way. I need to perform as a man out there in the world. I need sisters who represent the highest probability of making a successful marriage, low-maintenance women, very important word that, low-maintenance women who don't consume much real estate in my mind. Why? Because I have bigger things to handle. So if you as an employer want to take the risk with the guy who's been fired four times, more power to you. In fact, we need people like that in the world. Because you're right, Isa. There are some people who did just have a bad hand and they need, you know, an, an, another looking into. We need more people like you to take care of that niche, that anomaly, that exception to the rule. As for me personally and to anyone who would ask me for advice, that's on you guys. I ain't involved. 
Okay, so it seems to me, but I don't know whether I'm, 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 I'm not joining this up, probably, but it seems to be like the women, now maybe I'm, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but the sure. women that have been divorced or have had multiple relationships are less likely to have successful relationships moving forwards because of their history. That's, that's a great, that's a great that, point. And okay, that's, that's what you're saying, yeah? So oh, you're saying... Here, the super chat says, uh, dude, Desi 07, regardless of what the reasons of divorce are, women are scientifically lose pair bonding capacity each time they are physically intimate with a man, whether in halal or haram. I think he's just answered that perfectly. Okay, but I mean, you know, before some, I can't even read that. So when you're talking about studies and about and 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 these things, I mean, I I, I would love you to bring them, but sure. in order for me to take them seriously, they would have to be done specifically by Muslims, specifically on Muslims in Muslim uh, in in various different countries, and they're peer reviewed by qualified Muslims in that field. I can't okay. just say someone's popped up a message here and it means this and that studies. That's fine. So we're that, making that doesn't really work with me, bro. We're making the religious distinction again. So I ask you, uh, my beloved... Well, we're brother, talking about Muslim women. I mean, if you want to talk genuinely marriage, then that's okay. But okay, I so think generally question, it has some relevance, but Muslim women I'm talking question, about. My question is, my respected brother, is what's the difference between Muslim women and non-Muslim women? Okay, bruv, I'm going to I'm gonna speak now from experience and not from a book. Okay. Because how many girlfriends have you had in I don't want you to expose sins, but I'm assuming that because you got married very young, you did it halal from the start. Pretty much. Alhamdulillah. Okay, I never. I had a jahiliya and I had many Muslim girlfriends, okay? And I've been married Islamically for 16 years. I'm not married at this moment, but I was married for 16 years. I can tell you from experience, bruv, there is a huge difference between Muslim women and non-Muslim women and relationships between those two types of women, okay? To say that there's no real difference between a Muslim woman and a, and a non-Muslim woman, if we extend that, biologically, we could say, well, there's no real difference between a Muslim man and a non-Muslim man. There isn't. There isn't. Okay, so then what's the point being Muslim? You know what I mean? Hold so, on. no, 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 the no wait, I'm, I'm, not, I'm in the middle. The difference is in our Tawheed. Okay. The difference is in our Tawheed. But by, in terms of the impact, okay, I'll give you an example. What's the difference between smoking a spliff, a blunt, and the effects that it has, the hallucinatory effects that it has, the, or the psychedelic effects it has on a Muslim man and a non-Muslim man. What's the difference? I don't see how that's relevant, brother. You're talking about logically. It's extremely relevant. I'm it's not. It, I, but I, 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 I disagree it's relevant because what I'm, I'm talking about is... Fine, you said, you, the, the, the main difference between a Muslim Aisa. and a non-Muslim is Tawheed. Aisa, so let's, Aisa. let's start from that point. Aisa, I'm asking okay. the question. What... What's the difference? What psychedelic differences does a blunt have on a Muslim man and a non-Muslim man? I would imagine, bruv, there would be no difference. None at all. What, right. What's the difference between a Muslim man and a non-Muslim man suffering from a porn addiction and the impact it has on the brain, the biochemical impacts? What's the difference? Uh, bruv, I, I don't really know where you're going with this because, the, I mean, what, I'm, I'm, what, what's I, the it, it doesn't seem to be relevant. I mean, you're talking about spliffs and pornos and I don't really the know where that's is, relevant. The point is the addictive qualities or in the case of the blunt the psychedelic impact on the mind what's the difference one of them's a muslim one of them's a non-muslim but they're still bro, human you, beings bro you know it's like saying what if a muslim stubs his toe and a non-muslim stubs his toe is it gonna hurt of course it is uh, right yes but pair i don't see that's relevant no, to marriages and relationships two, two Desi 07. pair bonding has no deen this is not a religious thing you see i think a lot of us Muslims, and alhamdulillah, I, I, I'm happy. We're proud of our deen. We're proud of our religion, as we should be, right? Uh, Allah mentions this in the Quran about, okay, I don't want to go there if I can't quote the ayah verbatim. No, regardless, I am happy and to, uh, pleased to see Muslims proud of their deen. But that does not exempt us from the side effects, the consequences of smoking a blunt in this example here. It, there is no difference, Akhi. We're human beings. 